Hello, everybody. For full course suites of Algebra 1, which includes 70 lessons, all accompanying quizzes, tests, and worksheets, email animated PowerPoint math video at ALL.com and state your specific request or to receive a catalog of all instructional PowerPoints and videos. Today, we're going to do 1.1, Evaluate Expressions. This is the first lesson in Algebra 1, which starts out with a bell work here. Students, do your bell work as you arrive to class or as you look at your worksheet. Do bell work 1 and 2. Evaluate expressions before you've used whole numbers, fractions, and decimals. You will evaluate algebraic expressions and use exponents. Hooray! So you can calculate sports statistics. Okay, so we can do that. Classwork. This is classwork sheet, page 2. A variable is a letter used to represent one or more numbers. The numbers are the variable. Numbers are the values of the variable. Expressions consist of numbers, variables, and operations. An algebraic expression or a variable expression is an expression of at least one variable. If you didn't get all that, you can go back in your PowerPoint or your video. We're moving on here to page three. And this will go in your notebook. When I teach this course, I do a notebook check every Friday. Algebraic expression, here's a table, five times n, five n. All of these things mean the same thing. 5 times n, multiplication, 14y, 14 divided by y, 14 divided by y, division, 6 plus c, 6 plus c, addition, 8 minus x, 8 minus x, subtraction. Put this in your notebook as a good review and also you're going from a verbal model here from algebra algebraic expression to a verbal model here and then the operation here the main operator here is indicated here in, in this column notebook this goes into your notebook class page four to evaluate an algebraic expression, substitute a number for each variable, perform the operations, and simplify the result if necessary. So here we go into an, into an example. This is a notebook page. Evaluate algebraic expressions. Evaluate the expression when n equals 3. <clears throat> 13 times n, 13 times 3, we just plug in here for n, get 39, 9 over n, so 9 over 3 equals 3, n minus 1, substitute 3 for n, 3 minus 1 equals 2, and then n plus 8, 3 plus 8 equals 11. So this is when we evaluate an expression when we plug in a value for our variable. Here is our first guy to practice here. Evaluate the expression when y equals 2. So we plug in to that expression. 6 times 2 equals 12. We plug in here equals 12.
This goes into your notebook class. The total cost of seeing a movie at a theater, here we go with a word problem, can be represented by the expression A plus R, where A is the cost in dollars of admission and R is the, what, A plus R? A plus R, when A is the cost in dollars of admission. When R is the cost in dollars of refreshments, suppose you pay $7.50 for admission and $7.25 for refreshments. Find the total cost. So now we're going here. Here's our verbal model. And then we're going to plug that into our algebraic expression. $7.50 plus $7.25. We do the addition for that. And we get $14.75. Total cost is $14.75. So put this into your notebook here. Guided practice. What if, in example two, suppose you go back to the theater with a friend to see an afternoon movie? You pay for both admissions. Your total costs can be represented by the expression 2A. If each admission costs four seventy-five, what is your total cost? And then your independent practice here, students, this is for you to do on your own. Solve this on your own. Total cost would be two A. We plug in our A here. Four seventy-five equals nine fifty. Total cost is nine fifty for to see that movie. Here's the classwork. This is classwork sheet 10. Expressions using exponents. A power is an expression that represents repeated multiplication for the same exam uh, for the same factor. For example, 81 is a power of 3 because 81 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. A power can be written in a form using two numbers, a base and an exponent. The exponent represents the number of times the base is used as a factor. So 81 can be written as 3 to the 4th power. Yes? Put this in your class worksheet, page 10. Page 11, class worksheet, 3 to the 4th. This is 81 now. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Because you repeated 4 times. Base is here, exponent is there. This whole uh, entity here is called the power, a power. Four factors of three. So that's really a power that's deconstructed with the base and the exponent explained. So in your notebook, page 12 here, Read and write powers. Write the power in words and as a product. So we have seven to the first power here. Seven to the first power. Seven is the product for that. And then B, five to the second power. Five to the second power or five squared. This is called a square here. Five times five. And then one half, we do. We can take a fraction here and we can cube it or put it to the third power. One half to the third power or one half cubed. One half times one half times one half, three times. And then z to the fifth power, z to the fifth, z times z times z times z times z. z, 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 z. So it's this is the pattern that you that we have established here for how to use exponents. Write the power in words. Write this power in words and as a product. And your independent practice students is this one here. Write the power in words and as a product. We'll go through this and then your independent practice is on you. Your turn here. 
write the power in words and as a product here's 9 to the fifth so how would you write that in words 9 to the fifth power and as a product it would be 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 here is our homework and if you have to go back go back into your in your PowerPoint or go back in your video I'm moving through this quickly this is your homework here vocabulary and writing it's always good to write what you know know what you write evaluating expressions evaluating expressions evaluating expressions so we just plug in these values students plug in the values here and then what is the value 2.5 when when m equals 10 write the power in words and as a product if you need more room attach a sheet to this attach your own paper to this and staple it to this sheet if there's not enough room here attach a sheet please to it put your name on it and staple it write the power in words and as a product so here we have y to the six put that into words describe and correct the error here we have a couple of those and that's 1.1 class and for ordering information email me here and i'll get right back to you thank you very much